Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Michaela, and I have a bit of a problem. Recently, when I'm out with friends, I drive them crazy with the fact that I'm completely unorganized. I'm always the only one who has to buy a ticket for the train, and I'm also one of those huge jerks who holds up huge lines at a cash register just so I can pay for things in exact change. And what do we got in here? There's like a ring, 64 gigabyte SD card, not only that, but I hoard receipts like a pack rat. I just can't throw them away because I keep thinking I'm going to need them for something. If this wallet is a reflection of my life, then I'm a complete mess. Thankfully, in Japan, electronic money transfers are becoming more of a frequent thing, and they are becoming more convenient by the day. Do do ah! Jan! Nimoka! Originally designed just for transportation, IC cards are becoming a more widely accepted form of payment all over Japan. To apply for one is simple and only takes a few seconds. Unlike cash cards which are usually applied for through the bank, IC cards can be obtained at your local train station for a small fee. Once you've put some money on your IC card, you're free to use it wherever IC cards are accepted as a form of payment. For me, that meant I could go shopping almost immediately. I don't have any socks. So. Oh. Beep. IC cards were originally designed for transportation with each company operating privately, but now IC cards from any region of Japan are widely accepted across the country. That means I can use my Fukuoka-based Nimoka card even to pay for train fare in Tokyo. Recently, even taxi companies allow IC cards as a method of payment. But wait, what happens when you run out of money? Luckily, charging an IC card is super convenient in Japan as well. A lot of people don't know this, but you can actually charge your IC card at a convenience store. For Nimoka, I use Lawson. You might even come across one of these IC card charging machines, but if all else fails, you can always charge your IC card at a train station. Jan. And after using my Nimoka card for only a month, I managed to save up 190 points, which turned into 190 yen, which is almost enough for me to take the train back home. It definitely helps keep things a little more organized. Yes, I won't be needing these anymore. What is your preferred method of payment in your country? Do you prefer cash or do you prefer to keep things on cards? Let me know in the comments. See you later, bye. My name is Michaela, and today I have a really important confession to make. I am in 